Hey guys, this is Gundam Freedom and this is the second part of my review of the 1 to 144 scale high grade Gundam Sandrock version EW. And in this part we're gonna talk about the weapons and how to mount them on the mobile suit. So first is the shield. As you can see here. It's all molded in these two colors. It's light gray and this purplish blue color but I painted it yellow on the claws yellow on the border black inside with um, white in the middle and red parts in the sides and to mount it on the mobile suit there's a peg here and two holes in each arm so you can just peg it like so and you cannot rotate it because of how there's a square peg in here which stops it from rotating and you cannot put the shield on the backpack unlike the original sand rock but, so And other accessories is these two big ass swords. It's all molded in white, including the handle, so you need to paint them. And the handle can be removed, like so. It just puts in a peg here, very securely and to mount it on the backpack there's a hole in the backpack and a track inside because the peg in the sword is an L-shaped peg like as you can see there so to mount it just put it in that hole and slide it down and fits very securely in the backpack. Also the tip of the sword is scraping the table here. So yeah. You can also mount the swords on the shield if you want, just like the original sand rock. As you can see there are two holes on the shield and you just remove the handle of the sword and you use this peg to mount it on the shield so, as you can see here like so and there you go the sword mounted on the shield and just do the same thing on the other one and you have a giant like claw thing what you want to call it is up to you so yeah uh, that is the Sandrock version EW hope you enjoy it and I'll see you guys next time